Hey guys, what's up? Scatman Brant here. Now, I noticed something funny. I was running a benchmark just a little bit earlier, and I noticed that my video cards are getting a little overheated. One's at 73, the other's at 63. That's not too bad, but let's see if we can drop those temperatures just a little bit. See, not too bad. 73 and 63. Averaging about, well right now it's horrible, but normally it says about 35 frames a second average. And having 2.5. Let's see what we can do about this. At best. Whoops. Disconnected the fan. Oh well. Now uh, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's quite a bit dusty in there. And that could also be a problem. Back away slowly. After I took care of our little creeper problem, I shine, shone a light on my CPU cooler and uh, doesn't really show too well on here. Ah oh, shit. It's dusty. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick little video on how to clean your computer. If you're new to cleaning your computer, I'm going to show you a few things you're going to need. Canned air. Because if you don't have an air compressor, this is the only way you're going to get rid of the dust and tight crevices. Screwdriver. Typically you'll need Phillips, but you may also need flathead. Mountain Dew pitch black. Yes, this is necessary. Now I'm going to be doing this in basically one take because if I try to clean the computer when there's no dust in it, it's not going to look right. I'm going to be doing this with the computer turned on just so you have more light to see what's going on. So, here goes nothing. The first thing you're going to want to do is spot all of your fans and see just how dirty they are. You can see some particle of dust on that one. Can't really see if your fan is not see-through or has LEDs in it. Got one up there. Doesn't look too bad. That one doesn't look half bad either. CPU fan already told you that's bad. Oh. Much better look at how dirty it is now. Next thing to do, determine the easiest way to clean the fans. These three and the power supply fan aren't going to be that hard, but this front pan has a grill on here that's going to be quite the pain. So, Hulk smash. Now it's much easier to get to. Now what you want to do is normally you'll have your computer turned off so you want to keep the fan in place as much as you can but since I have mine on it's not too big of a problem. All you need to do is Not sure if I saw that very well. Nice bit of dust went flying. Also, if your case has a bunch of little crevices like this, just give those a quick look over. Makes it look a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna try to back this one up a little bit so I can show you just how bad this is.
Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, still looks pretty bad. CU CPU temps are already going down. It was at 35. These video card fans are going to be kind of hard to get to, but I'll show you a little trick. You make the straw bend like this, what you do is you just do like that, but not enough to make it uh, crimp. So. Oh, that was worse than I thought. This one not as bad because it hasn't been crossed right here. And I just made a light shine. That's not a good thing. Lastly, just go over the rest of your case. Hard drives, optical drives, motherboard tray, other parts that you just can't grab normally. RAM. Yeah, I know this wasn't the greatest of quality, but it shows you basically what you need to do. So, next time I'll be doing a more in-depth cleaning taking off heat sinks, putting on fresh thermal paste. Uh, right now I just don't have the time to do that. Uh, I might have a video out of that in the next week, I want to say. I'll say Wednesday I'll do it, and it'll probably get uploaded on next Wednesday, knowing how much I procrastinate. Oh, also the video about that, uh, Minecraft tutorial on the uh, subway redstone chime system. The server I normally play on crashed, so starting all over on a new server is very difficult. So what I'm going to do is just use Invedit or some other tool to give myself all the uh, items needed to do that. and do it in single player. That I'll probably have done a little bit after the next video. Yes. Blue. Okay, now how come the light doesn't work? Damn you light. I will murder your light, stupid little LED. What you want to do is take your straw and bend it up like that, and then... Okay, don't make a fool out of me. Oh, that could be a problem. Whoops. Now after you set your camera down and get your second hand ready, what you want to do is use your other hand, bend the straw up, and this is in the way horribly. Uh, blast! You can't see a thing.
and I just totally got rid of my straw. Damn you one-handed straw putting on technique. Static wristband. Because you're going to be working with electronics and they're very sensitive to static electricity. You're going to want... Focus. Focus. You're going to want that alligator clip clip somewhere on a non-painted surface in your chassis. Unfortunately, that's not an option for me, so... I'm not going to be using this.